What's up, DJs? My name is DJ Liftoff, and this is episode one of the Hercules DJ Control Mix Series. Now, in this episode, we're pretty much just going to be talking about the basics. So how to power up the controller, how to connect it to the DJ app that'll be on your smartphone. We'll be going over the DJ app functionalities as far as the settings and everything you need to know in order to get connected. And we'll also be talking about how to get music from your computer to your phone and into the DJ app so you can use music that you already have downloaded. But before we hop into that, let's talk about what comes with the controller. As you can see, I have a cord just a USB-C to USB-A. I have this going to a block, which is actually going to give this controller power. You know it's powered on once you see this little white flash up here, uh, right under filter and bass slash Bluetooth. This wire will allow you to directly connect to your phone using this eighth inch side. And then we have RCAs where you can go directly into speakers if that's what you like to do. You also can connect to Bluetooth through speakers as well. For this series, I'll just be using my headphones here. And as you can see, all I'm going to do is a plug this right into my iPhone's adapter like so. Now, whether you are using an iPhone or an Android, you're gonna to wanna to download the DJ app. Now let's go ahead and open up the DJ app. As you can see, we just have a few screens to go through here. To connect your controller to the app, you do not need the paid or pro version. We're just gonna be using the free version. Now, one thing to note, it does come with ads, so just be aware of that. But essentially, as soon as you get to this screen, all we're gonna do is press the X in the top left corner. I'm gonna select don't allow notifications. We're gonna skip this. Now I'm just gonna flip my phone into horizontal mode. Now, as you can see, this is the main interface for the DJ app. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is connect our controller to the app so we can use all the buttons and functionalities of the controller and they talk to each other. So we're just gonna hit this little yellow circle at the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit settings. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, we're going to see MIDI devices. As you can see, it says no MIDI devices found. All we're going to have to do is press Bluetooth MIDI devices, and then it's automatically going to detect your controller if you have it powered up. Another way to power up your controller if you don't have a base is you can connect it to a power bank as well. Either one will work. As you can see here, we'll just hit OK, and then we see our DJ control mix is not connected. We'll just press that one time, and boom, now we are connected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. Once your controller is connected, you're just gonna scroll down just a little bit and we're going to enable crossfader cutting mode. Now this is going to be for scratching. This is going to make sure our crossfader is set up properly for scratching, which we will do in another episode. So once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and go back. Now if we go back and just press done, will return to the main interface. Now, let's talk about the interface. We can see the two lights illuminating at the top. This is going to be deck number two. This is going to be deck number one. Now to load a track, all you have to do is just press that little icon that's flashing right there. We'll go ahead and say, got it. Now, if we just click this little SoundCloud icon right here, we can see that we have plenty of choices as far as putting music or um, loading music into this software. We have Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport. Um, I'm gonna be using files as I've actually uploaded files myself to my phone, but you can use any of these that you like. Also, if you don't have any music, featured within the DJ app is music that's already preloaded for you. So you can definitely go straight to the DJ app and you can immediately start using their songs. But for me personally, I'm just gonna go down to files here, click files, I'm gonna press this little add button right here, I'm gonna select add files. This is going to bring up my files app on my phone and these are again, files that I've already added to my phone and I can just load that right there. Okay, so now when I click link files, can we dance? We now have that playing on our right deck. This app is actually really, really in depth and it has all of the features that you would have on a regular DJ controller. So let's start from top to bottom. So we have our sync button up here. We can turn that on or off. And of course we can turn that on or off with our controller or with the software itself. 
if we go ahead and click BPMs right here, we have our BPM. We can change our BPM by hitting this edit button. We also have tempo. Here we're automatically default set to 16%. We can change that to 50%, 16%, 25%, whatever you like. And of course, that's just changing the range here for how much space you have to either speed up your song or slow your song down. So I'll just reset that and I'll put it back to 16. Now, right below that, we have our fader over here, our pitch slider. So as you can see, this is talking to each other still. Once we're perfectly in the middle, you see this little green light is illuminated when we're perfectly centered. Also, if you look over to the right, we have a little key lock button right here as well if we wanna make sure that our songs are actually key locked. Also, if you look at the very top, you can press right here and you can change the key of your track manually like so. Now let's hop into a few more functionalities of the app. If we press this little fader right here to the left, we can see that we have our filter. We can also see that we have our volume adjustment here as well as our trim level adjustment right here. Okay, now if we go here into the middle, this is our waveform. So if we have a track playing, we have our waveform here. You can also adjust the zoom level on this simply by clicking this little two right here. Now, if we wanna zoom out, we can go ahead and press that minus button. Now, if we play again, we can see that we're pretty zoomed out. We can also, of course, zoom that in as well. So you can set that up however you would like. Also within the settings, we have slice, we have slip, and we have dark mode if you like to use dark mode as well. If we press one more time to the right, we also see that we have some sampler settings as well. You can go ahead and press these here. And then in the next video, we'll talk about how we can actually use the sampler using the controller. But for now, just know that this is where your sampler um, tracks will be. You can also load different tracks or you can load different sounds through here. You can get more packs, obviously, if you'd like. And then preloaded already, we have Essentials, Hip Hop Volume 4, and we have House Bass. Now from here, we also have a few more settings. If we just go ahead and click that little button right there, we have five different options here at the bottom. So if we click this here, we can see that we have our cue points. Again, we'll talk about how to set cue points on the controller in the next video, but we have our cue, pitch cue, as well as slice. Right next to that, we have our loop function. So right here, we can see auto, we can see saved, and we can see bounce. Here, we can just change the duration. We can um, go ahead and turn that on. As you can see here, I just enabled that. We can make it two beats. We can make it four beats, um, just like that. We can also turn it off by clicking it again. And then we also have our in and out functionality as well. Moving on, we have our effects. Here we can just click this little echo here. We see all of the different effects that we have within the software. Also, if I click this last one, we have our low, mid, and high frequencies, as well as our filter as well. If you have music on your computer that you would like to add directly to the DJ app, it's pretty easy. So I'll show you all how to do this on an iPhone. So first, you're just going to connect your iPhone to your computer and open up the music app as I have here. Then you're just gonna go over and click sync settings up in the top right here. Then you can see we have this window here. From here, all you're gonna do is navigate to files like so. And if you already have the DJ app downloaded, it will show up right here. All you're gonna do is click this little arrow here. So all you need to do from here is add all of your songs into their folders. So let's just pretend I have all my tracks in this folder here called Feel Good Vibes. All I'm going to do is take this folder and I'm gonna drag it right into the DJ app like such. We're just gonna give that a quick second. That'll copy all of the tracks in that specific folder over to the DJ app as you can see here. Now we have it on our phone. Now when we actually look at our phone, all we have to do is tap the top left to go to tap to load. I'm gonna go back to files. Here we can see all of our sources, click on files. Now all we have to do is click this plus button here, click add folder, then we're going to go, um, if this isn't already loaded, we'll just click on my iPhone, we'll go to the DJ app, and then we'll click the folder that we just added. In this case, it is the Feel Good Vibes. Then we'll click Done in the top right. 
Now, as you can see, you'll see your folder in there, and now you can load any track directly from that folder. All right, DJs, that's how you connect the DJ Control Mix to the DJ app on your smartphone, as well as a main overview of the DJ app itself. Now, make sure you stick around for episode two, where we're going to talk more about the DJ Mix controller itself.